instruction to making bundles of 10 and counting from 10 to 20. Hello friends, I am the parrot. Welcome to this topic. Come on, let us see what are we going to learn in this video. What is a bundle of 10 and how do we count objects more than 9? Choto's mother needs some wooden sticks for a bonfire in the evening. Choto gets some wooden sticks from the forest. Choto, can you count and tell me how many wooden sticks are there? Yes, mummy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and... Mm, I don't know how to count ahead. These are more than 9 wooden sticks. Don't worry, Choto. I will tell you how to count beyond 9. If we add one more wooden stick to 9 wooden sticks, then we get 10 wooden sticks. I see. Do you know, Chotu, that what is any group of 10 called? No, mummy. What do we call it? Kids, do you know what is a group of 10 called? Come on, let us see. Bundle of 10 This means that if the number of items is 10, then we can say that it is in a bundle of 10. Can you spot some objects in this room which are in a bundle of 10, Chotu? Yes, Mummy. These are 10 glasses. So, we can call their group a bundle of 10. Similarly, those books are also 10. So, they are also making a bundle of 10. Right, Mummy? Yes, Chotu, you are absolutely correct. Very good. Now, let's count the remaining wooden sticks. These are 10 sticks. So, let's make their bundle of 10 like this. One bundle of 10 and one more wooden stick make 11 wooden sticks. One bundle of 10 and two wooden sticks make 12 wooden sticks. One bundle of 10 and three wooden sticks make 13 wooden sticks. One bundle of 10 and 4 wooden sticks make 14 wooden sticks. One bundle of 10 and 5 wooden sticks make 15 wooden sticks. One bundle of 10 and 6 wooden sticks make 16 wooden sticks. One bundle of 10 and 7 wooden sticks make 17 wooden sticks. One bundle of 10 and 8 wooden sticks make 18 wooden sticks. One bundle of 10 and 9 wooden sticks make 19 wooden sticks. And one bundle of 10 and 10 more wooden sticks make 2 bundles of 10 and that makes 20 wooden sticks. So, Chotu, as soon as we have 10 objects, we make their bundle and count open objects till 9. As soon as we get another wooden stick after 19, we make another bundle of 10, which gives us 2 bundles of 10. That means I got 20 wooden sticks. <laughs> yes, Chotu, you are absolutely correct. Now go and wash your hands. You also count the number of objects around by making bundles of 10. So children, that was all for today. In this video, we learned what is a bundle of 10 and how do we count objects ahead of 9. In the next video, we will see some more examples of counting by making bundles of 10. Till then, bye friends. Examples of counting from 10 to 20. So children, in the previous video, we learned how to make bundles of 10 and learned how to count objects more than 9 in number. In this video, we will see some more interesting examples of how to count objects more than 9 in number by making bundles of 10. Chotu has won a lot of trophies in athletics. 
These trophies are kept on a table in his house. Today, Chotu and Aarti will be going to school together. So, Aarti is waiting at Chotu's place. And that time, she notices Chotu's table. And by then, even Chotu comes ready for school. Wow, Chotu! You have so many trophies. Yes, Aarti. Every year, I participate in athletics in school. It is a lot of fun. Next year, you to participate. Now let's quickly go to the school. Yes, Chotu, let's go. So, children, can you tell me how many trophies does Chotu have? Come on, let us count together. These are ten trophies, and we can make one bundle of ten trophies. Apart from this, there are four more trophies. This means that Chotu has one bundle of ten and four more trophies. That is fourteen trophies in total. Even you had the same answer, right? Very good. Come on, now let us go to Chotu and Aarti school. A cleanliness drive is being carried out at their school today. For this, Chotu and Aarti have been assigned the job of collecting plastic bottles from their school and its surrounding areas. Come on, let us see how many bottles each of them have collected. First, let us count the number of bottles that Aarti has collected. These are 10 bottles. That is one bundle of 10. And there are 5 more bottles. So, a bundle of 10 and 5 are 15 bottles. This means that Aarti has collected a total of 15 bottles. Even you counted in the same way, right? So now let's count the number of bottles that Chotu has collected. This is one bundle of 10 bottles and this is another bundle of 10 bottles. These are two bundles of 10. So these are 20 bottles. This means that Chotu has collected a total of 20 bottles. Did you understand children? Similarly, by making a bundle of 10 bottles, we can count till any number between 9 and 20. That was all for today. In this video, we counted objects more than 9 by making bundles of 10. In the next video, we will see few more examples and the commonly made mistakes that should be avoided while counting objects more than 9. Till then, bye friends! Interesting examples and common mistakes while counting from 10 to 20. So children, in the previous video, you counted objects by making bundles of 10. In this video, we will see some more examples and some common mistakes that should be avoided while counting objects that are more than 9 in number. Today is Pinky and Chotu's parents' wedding anniversary. And that's why Pinky and Chotu decide to make a card for their parents. Pinky needs some objects to make the card and she makes a list of these objects. Chotu, we need all of these objects to make a card. Can you go quickly and get all these objects from the nearby shop please? Meanwhile, I will start making the card. Okay, Pinky. I will go and get them. Chotu quickly gets the object and returns. He has brought two different colored sheets of paper, three colorful ribbons and eight colorful pens. Here you go, Pinky. Oh no, Chotu. You just got three ribbons and eight pens. This is too less. Did you not read the list properly? But Pinky, this was what written in the list. No, Chotu. Show me the list. See this, Pinky. Children, out of Pinky and Chotu, who do you think is correct? Come on, let's see. See, first two sheets of paper is written in the list, which you have brought correctly. Tell me what is written below that. One and two, which means three colorful ribbons. Oh no, Chotu. You added one and two. We don't read this number like this. Here one means one bundle of ten. That means ten ribbons. And two means two more ribbons. So in total it becomes twelve ribbons. 
Understood. Oh, I see. Oh no, I read the number of pens also incorrectly. I added one and seven, and that's why I got eight pens. So now, can you tell me the correct number of pens? Yes, one means one bundle of ten, and seven means seven more pens. So total seventeen pens, right, Binky? Yes, Chotu, you are absolutely right. Come on, I will quickly go and get more pens and ribbons. Okay, Chotu, thank you. So, children, now even you can read two-digit numbers correctly, like Chotu, right? Come on, let's look at another example. These are some flowers. The number of these flowers is written below them. Can you identify and tell me this number? Yes, this is one bundle of ten flowers and nine more flowers. That means in total nineteen flowers. Very good, children. That was all for today. In this video, we saw some more examples and common mistakes while counting objects that are more than nine in number, and also saw how to write two-digit numbers. I hope you have understood this topic very well. Bye, friends. Introduction to ones and tens. Hello, friends. I am the parrot. Welcome to this lesson. Come, let's see what you will learn in this lesson. What are ones and tens? And how to write numbers in the form of ones and tens. Chotu and his mother went to the market today to get vegetables. On returning home, Chotu's mother kept all vegetables except onions in the fridge. All onions are kept on the table. Mummy, you asked the vegetable vendor to give one kg onions. How many onions did you get? Can you count and tell me how many onions did we buy? Yes, mummy, I will tell you now. Wait, count the number of onions by making a bundle of ten each. For this, first make one bundle of ten onions. Okay, mummy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Take this, mother. This is a bundle of ten onions. Very good, Chotu. Now, how many more onions are there? There is one more onion, mummy. So this is one bundle of ten onions, which has ten onions, and this is one more onion. So in total, how many onions do we have, Chotu? Ten and one. That means we have eleven onions, isn't it, Mummy? Yes, sure do. Do you know that how else can we write eleven? No, Mummy. How do we write it? Come on, let me explain it to you. When we make a group of ten things, then this group is called tens, and the open things are called ones. So by that, we mean ten means a group of ten, and ones means one. That is open things. And when there are ten ones, then they make one tens. Okay, Chotu, tell me something. Can nine onions together make one tens? No, Mummy. For this, we will need one more onion. This will be nine ones. Absolutely right, Chotu. This means that ten onions or ten balls, all those things present in a group of ten, makes tens because they are in a group of ten. But four, eight, and nine things which are less than ten, they are ones, and we count them individually. Have you understood? Yes, Mummy. So now, can you tell me how many tens 
and ones are there in eleven onions? Hmm, there would be one tens and one ones in eleven onions, isn't it, Mummy? Yes, Chotu, you are absolutely right. So, children, do you know that when we write numbers in ones and tens, then we call them as place value of the numbers? For examples, if I have fifteen balls with me, then in this fifteen, the place value of five is five ones, which means five balls, and the place value of one is ten, which means ten balls. So the total is fifteen balls. So children, that's all for today. In this video, we learned what are tens and ones, and how to write numbers. in the form of tens and ones in the next video we will look at some more interesting examples of tens and ones till then bye friends interesting examples of ones and tens part 1 so children In the previous video you learned what are ones and tens and how to write numbers in the form of ones and tens. In this video we will look at some more interesting examples of writing numbers in the form of ones and tens. Today is a school holiday and Pinky has come to her mother's stationery shop. New goods have come to the shop today. Look children There are so many pencils, pens, sharpeners and erasers. Pinky, whatever new stuff has come, can you please count and tell me the number of all the things? Here each packet will have 10 things and other items would be kept open in the box. Okay, mom. Pinky counts the number of pencils first. These are 10 pencils. Then she counts the number of pens. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. These are fourteen pens. Children, you two are counting the number of all these things with Pinky, aren't you? After pens, she counts the number of sharpeners. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. These are seventeen sharpeners. And in the end, she counts the number of erasers. Ten and ten. These are twenty erasers. Very good, Pinky. Thank you. Come on, children. Let us now write these numbers in the form of tens and ones. First of all, let's look at the number of pencils, which is ten. This means it has one ten and zero ones. Now let's look at the number of pens which is 14. Now can you tell me how many tens and ones are there in it? Come on let's see. This is one bundle of 10 pens and four more pens. That means it has one tens and four ones. Your answer was the same, right? Good. Come on now. Let's look at the number of sharpeners which is 17. If we make one bundle of 10 in this, then seven more sharpeners remain, which means it has one tens and seven ones. Now in the end, let's look at the number of erasers which is 20. Can you tell me how many ones and tens are there in this? This is a bundle of 10 and there are 10 more erasers left that means there is another bundle of 10 we have two bundles of 10 therefore 20 has two tens and zero ones have you understood that was all for today in this video we wrote numbers in the form of ones and tens in the next video we will look at some more interesting examples and we'll learn about some common mistakes which should not be done till then bye friends
इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ वन एंड टेंस पार्ट टू सो चिल्ड्रेन इन द लास्ट वीडियो यू रोड नंबर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वन एंड टेंस इन दिस वीडियो we will look at more some interesting examples and will learn about some common mistakes that we should not do chotu and aarti are studying together at chotu's home they have studied about ones and tens yesterday at school just then aarti happens to look at the toys kept in chotu's cupboard oh wow You have so many colorful toys. How many toys would these be, Chotu? Thank you, Aarti. Come, let's play a game where I will only tell you how many ones and tens are there in the number of objects, and you will have to tell that number. Okay? Okay, Chotu. There are one tens and zero ones in the number of toys. This is wrong, Chotu. One tens and zero ones means you have just one toy. But there are many toys in the cupboard. No, Aarti, it doesn't mean one. One tens means a bundle of ten. That means I have ten toys. Did you understand? Oh yes. So children, that means one ten and zero ones make ten. Come on. Now I will tell you the number of colorful pens I have. There are one tens and five ones in the number of pens. Hmm. So you have one and five. That is only six pens. No, Aarti, you added one and five, which is wrong. One tens means ten pens, and five ones means five pens. That means I have. Ten and five, fifteen pens. Did you understand? Oh yes, Chotu. This means that one ten and five ones make fifteen. You have understood the topic of tens and ones quite well. Children, have you also understood this topic properly? Come on, let's see. These are some toffees. There are one tens and six ones in their number. Can you tell me how many toffees are there in all? One tens means ten toffees, and six ones means six toffees, which means these are sixteen toffees. Your answer was also the same, right? Very good. Come on, let's look at another similar example. Here are some flowers. There are one tens and two ones in their number. Can you tell me how many flowers are these? One tens means ten flowers, and two ones means two flowers. Ten and two, which means these are twelve flowers. That's all for today. In this video, we learn to write numbers in the form of ten and ones. I hope you have understood this topic properly. Bye friends. Comparison of numbers from 10 to 20. Hello friends. I am the parrot. Welcome to this lesson. Today in this lesson we will learn comparing numbers from 10 to 20. Today there is a competition in the jungle between two monkeys Mini and Motu. There are some bananas and the monkey who eats the most bananas will win. To prevent anyone from cheating The two monkeys have called Dear Didi to watch the competition and count the bananas. Let's see who eats more bananas. Come on, Mini! Come on! Come on! Come on! Eat! Come on! Faster! Come on! Okay, the bananas have finished. Now let's count who has eaten more bananas. First, let's count how many bananas Mini has eaten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two
टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन लेवन ट्वेल्व एंड थर्टीन दिस मीन्स दैट मिनी हैज ईटन थर्टीन बनानाज कम ऑन नाउ लेट्स काउंट द नंबर ऑफ बनानाज मोर टू एट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन लेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन सो दैट्स इक्वल टू द नंबर ऑफ बनानाज मिनी एट बट देर आर फोर्टीन एंड द फिफ्टीन बनाना ऑल्सो दिस मीन्स मोर टू एट टू बनानाज मोर देन मिनी मिनी एट थर्टीन बनानाज एंड मोर टू एट फिफ्टीन बनानाज फिफ्टीन बनानाज आर मोर देन थर्टीन बनानाज and this means that motu has eaten two bananas more than mini motu is very happy to hear this yay i have won that is when two squirrels timmy and miku come to the deer dear didi can you all come with us and tell between both of us whose tree has more mangoes okay let's go This is Miku's tree and this is my tree. Miku's tree has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 13 and 14 mangoes. And Timmy's tree has 1 2 3 4 5 6 मैंगोज And so there are two more mangoes on Timmy's tree. Yay! I told you, Miku, that I have more mangoes on my tree. I have fun. So, children, did you have fun watching this competition? Now you too can compare numbers like dear Didi. Good. That's all for today. In this video, we learn. How to compare numbers from 10 to 20 In the next video we will see some more examples of comparing these numbers Till then bye friends children in the previous video we learned how to compare numbers from 10 to 20 in this video we will see some examples of comparing these numbers today there is a pooja at chotu and pinky's house their mother needs some flowers for the pooja pinky and chotu will you please bring some flowers from the garden Just bring those flowers that have fallen. Do not pluck the flowers. Okay, okay mom. Chotu and Pinky go to the garden and collect fallen flowers and then come back to their mother. Mom, Here take the flowers. <laughs> Thank you, children. Mom, I brought more flowers. No, no. I brought more flowers. Isn't it, mom? <laughs> Don't quarrel children. Let's find out who brought more flowers. First, let's see how many flowers Chotu has brought. These are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and 12 flowers. That means Chotu has brought 12 flowers. Now let us see how many flowers Pinky has brought. One, two, three, four, 
फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व दैट इज इक्वल टू द नंबर ऑफ फ्लावर्स छोटू हैज ब्रॉड बट देर आर थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन एंड सेवनटीन फ्लावर्स दिस मीन्स पिंकी हैज ब्रॉड सेवनटीन फ्लावर्स सेवनटीन फ्लावर्स आर मोर देन ट्वेल्व फ्लावर्स therefore i brought more flowers isn't it mom <laughs> yes pinky you are absolutely correct yay oh ho no problem i will bring even more flowers next time come on let's now quickly distribute these sweets among all the neighbors i will keep the sweets in two plates okay, okay mom. mom then pinky picks up a plate and chotu picks up another plate and both of them Go to distribute sweets. Chotu, let us see that whose plate has more sweets. Okay, Pinky. First, let us count the number of sweets in your plate. Okay, Chotu. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. There are eleven sweets in your plate. Okay, Chotu. Now you count the number of sweets in your plate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's equal to the number of sweets in your plate. But there are more. Twelve. And thirteen sweets. I see. That means thirteen sweets are more than eleven sweets. So you have more sweets in your plate. Yes, Pinky. Come on, let's distribute all the sweets to our neighbors. So, children, in these examples, you saw how Pinky and Chotu compared the two numbers and found out which number is greater. You can also compare the number of such objects around you, right? Good. So children, that is all for today. In this video, we compared numbers from 10 to 20. In the next video, we will see some more examples of comparing these numbers and some common mistakes related to them. Till then, My friends Words and common mistakes while comparing numbers from 10 to 20 So children in the previous video we learned to compare numbers from 10 to 20 In this video We will see some more examples of comparing numbers from 10 to 20 and some common mistakes related to them. Chotu and Pinky went to the market with their mother to buy sports t-shirts resembling their favorite player's t-shirt. Chotu bought a football player's t-shirt and Pinky bought a cricket player's t-shirt. Then both went to the garden to play. The number written on my T-shirt is greater than the number on yours. Really? But how is eight greater than twelve? Come on, Chotu. Twelve has one and two in it, and eight is greater than these two. So eight is greater than twelve. But Pinky. Twelve has one ten and two ones, and eight has only eight ones and not a single ten. Okay, you collect twelve leaves, and I will collect eight leaves, and then let us see who has more leaves. Okay, Chotu, you do it first. Okay, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, 
and eight. Here are eight leaves. Come on, now you collect twelve leaves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's equal to the number of leaves you collected. But there are nine, ten, eleven, and twelve leaves. So now tell me, what do you think? Eight leaves are more, or twelve leaves are more? Twelve leaves. This means that your T-shirt has a greater number written on it than my T-shirt. Yes, Pinky, you are absolutely right. Let's play now. So, children, you saw that twelve is greater number than eight because. Twelve has a ten, which means ten items like ten leaves and two units, meaning two single items like two leaves. So total is ten and two, twelve leaves. And eight has zero tens and eight units, which means eight single items such as eight leaves. Therefore, two-digit numbers such as twelve are greater than single-digit numbers such as eight. Did you understand, kids? That's all for today. In this video, we learned how to compare numbers from ten to twenty. And two-digit numbers are greater than single-digit numbers. I hope you have understood this topic properly. Bye friends. Of numbers from 10 to 20. Hello friends, I am the parrot. Welcome to this lesson. Let us see what we will learn in this lesson. Today we will learn to add numbers up to 20. Today in Chotu and Aarti's class, children are going to make paper boats. All the children have brought colorful papers from their home. Chotu and Aarti also have some colored papers. Madam showed the children how to make a boat and children also started making paper boats with her. Chotu and Aarti were having such fun making the boats that they ended up making lots of boats. Come on children, let us see how many boats have Chotu and Aarti made in total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So Chotu made 5 boats. And Aarti made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means 5 boats. So children, can you tell me how many boats did Chotu and Aarti made together? Yes, Chotu and Aarti have together made 10 boats. Aarti had another paper left and she made another boat with it. So children, can you tell me how many boats do Chotu and Aarti have now? Let us see. 10 boats along with another boat, so there are a total of 11 boats. So children, did you see? When we have 10 boats and add another one, then we get a total of 11 boats. Spring is here. Chotu and Aarti are playing in the garden. And the garden is full of blooming flowers and the flowers are strewn all around. Aarti, why don't we make a garland out of these flowers? Yes, Chotu. I will go and get bundle of thread. Until then, I will gather some flowers. Chotu and Aarti started making the garland of flowers. Chotu used seven white flowers to make his garland. And Aarti used five white flowers in her garland. So children, can you tell us how many white flowers did Chotu and Aarti use in their garlands? Let us see. Chotu added 7 white flowers and Aarti added 5 white flowers. 
So children, if we look at all the flowers together, we have one group of 10 flowers and two more flowers. So that makes a total of 12 flowers. So children, 7 flowers added to 5 flowers make a total of 12 flowers. So children, that is all for today. In this lesson, you learn to add numbers up to 20. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples of addition of numbers up to 20. Until then, bye friends. Interesting examples of addition of numbers from 10 to 20, part 1. So children, in the previous video, you learned to add numbers up to 20. In this video, we will see some more interesting examples of adding numbers up to 20. Choto and Sonu have brought their balls to play in the playground. Before playing, they started showing their balls to each other. Wow, Chotu, you have so many balls. Yes, Sonu, I have nine balls. How many do you have? I have four balls in total. So, how many balls do we have in all? Children, do you know? Let us see. Chotu has nine balls and Sonu has four balls. This means that all the balls together make a group of 10 balls and 3 more balls. This means there are a total of 13 balls. So children, 9 balls added to 4 more balls make a total of 13 balls. So children, do you remember 10s and 1s? Here we have 13 balls. That is 1 tens in which there are 10 balls and 3 ones in which there are 3 balls. Children, today is Aarti's birthday. Aarti's friends are all busy preparing for her party. Neha is blowing balloons for the party. Come on Neha, I will also help you in blowing the balloons. Children, Neha blew 12 balloons. And Chodu blew 4 balloons. Can you tell me how many total balloons did Chodu and Neha blew together? Let us see. First of all, Neha blew 12 balloons and Chotu blew 4 balloons. So children, if we see all balloons together, then we have one group of 10 balloons and 6 more balloons. That means we have a total of 16 balloons. Yes children, so 12 and 4 balloons make a total of 16 balloons. So children, this means that when we add 12 and 4, then we get a total of 16. That is all for today. In this video, we saw some more interesting examples of adding numbers whose addition was between 10 to 20. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples of adding numbers up to 20 and learn about some common mistakes that should not be made. Till then, goodbye children. Interesting examples of addition of numbers from 10 to 20 part 2. Hello friends. In the previous video, we saw some interesting examples of addition of numbers up to 20. In this video, we will see some more interesting examples of adding numbers up to 20 and learn about some common mistakes that should not be made. So children, do you know how important it is to plant trees? Yes. Today, Chotu is planting saplings in the garden with his mother. Look at this, Chotu. This is the way to plant saplings. After this, we have to water them. Mom, even I want to plant saplings. Chotu, now you also start planting the saplings carefully. Chotu planted four saplings. Mother planted nine saplings. Can you tell me 
How many saplings in all did they both plant? Let us see. Chotu, can you count and tell me how many saplings we have planted? We have planted 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Mom, we have planted 12 saplings in total. Children, has Chotu counted correctly? Let us see. No, Chotu, not like this. Come on now, let us count the saplings all over again. Look, first of all, you planted four saplings. After that, I planted nine more saplings and we already had four. And after four, this is the fifth sapling. This is the sixth. Then seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth. That means we planted 13 plants in total. That is all for today. In this video, you learned to add numbers up to 20. I hope you have understood this topic very well. Goodbye children. of numbers from 10 to 20. Hello children, I am the parrot. Welcome to this video. Let us see what we will learn in this video. In this video, we will learn how to subtract numbers up to 20. Today is 15th August and all the children are buying kites from the market. Chotu is also going to buy kites with his friend Sonu. Sonu, come on, let us hurry, otherwise all the kites will be sold. Yes, Chotu, let's go. Sonu, how many kites do you want to buy? I want to buy three kites. Today we will fly kites all day. Yes, Sonu, I too want to fly kites all day. I will take eight kites. We will have fun all day. Uncle, give me eight kites and also give two reels of thread. One, two, three... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 So children, Chotu bought 8 kites. But by now, the shop was left with no kites. Now Sonu got sad and sat under a tree nearby. Hey Sonu, why are you sad? Come on, you take 3 of my kites. Thank you Chotu. Come on, let's go home and fly kites. Yeah, yeah, come on. Chotu was going to fly kites on the terrace. When Chotu's mother called him and asked how many kites did he buy. Chotu said that he bought 8 kites. But gave 3 of them to Sonu. Can you tell me children how many kites are left with Chotu now? Yes, now Chotu has 5 kites. Today Chotu's friend Sonu has come to his house. Sonu has brought something to show Chotu. Come on, let us see what it is. Chotu, Chotu, look what I brought for you. Show me, Sonu, what did you bring? Look at this. My grandmother gave me a box of pencils. It has pencils of different colors. Wow, these look very beautiful, Sonu. Can you tell me how many pencils these are? Yes, these are 16 pencils in total. Oh, so many pencils. Sonu, will you give me some of these pencils too? Okay, Chotu, I will give you four pencils. Sonu, you gave me four pencils. This means now you are left with fewer pencils. Can you tell me that how many pencils you have right now in total? Yes, yes, I will tell you. First of all, I had 16 pencils. Out of those 16, I gave you 4 pencils. So out of 16 pencils, if 4 pencils are removed, then the remaining are 10 and 2. That is 12 pencils. Thank you, Sonu. So children, in this video, we learned how to subtract numbers up to 20. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples of subtracting numbers. Till then, bye friends.
Miracles of Subtraction of Numbers from 10 to 20, Part 1. Hello children, in the previous video we learned how to subtract numbers up to 20. In this video we will see some more interesting examples of subtracting numbers. Children, today Chonu has got his mathematics paper. He is on his way back home from school. I don't know how many marks I got in my paper. I will go home and ask mother. Chotu, today you got the result of your exam. So tell me how many marks you got. Mummy, I am unable to calculate how many marks I got. Will you help me with this, mummy? Yes, Chotu, why not? First of all, tell me what is the maximum marks of the test paper. 15 marks, mummy. Now tell me how many mistakes you made in the paper. Mummy, only two mistakes. Two mistakes? That means two marks less. Chotu, if you subtract two marks from 15 marks, then you will come to know how many marks you actually got. Okay, Mummy. I will do it and see. The paper was of 15 marks in total. Then I subtracted two marks from it. Mummy, I got 13 marks in total. Well done. Very good, Chotu. Chotu, tomorrow is the first day of your new class. So today you must separate all your used notebooks and new notebooks. Yes, Mummy. Hey, not like this, Chotu. First of all, count all your notebooks. So I have 17 notebooks now. Now separate those notebooks which are used. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 notebooks are used. Now subtract the 5 used notebooks out of 17 notebooks. Tell me how many new notebooks you have. So out of the 17 notebooks, if we subtract 5 notebooks, we are left with 12 notebooks. Well done Chotu. Now keep the remaining notebooks separately. That was all for today. In this video, we saw some interesting examples of subtracting numbers. In the next video, we will see some more interesting examples of subtracting numbers up to 20 and some common mistakes that should be avoided. Till then, bye children! Interesting examples of subtraction of numbers from 10 to 20 part 2 So children, in the previous video we saw some interesting examples of subtraction of numbers from 1 to 20. In this video we will learn some more interesting examples of subtraction of numbers from 1 to 20 and some common mistakes that should be avoided. Today Chotu and Aarti have come to the market. Aarti, do you know where the bangle shop is? Yes, Chotu, there is a bangle shop at the end of the market. But why do you want to buy bangles? Aarti, I want to buy bangles for my mother. How many bangles do you want? Auntie, we want 16 bangles. Here you go. Chotu and Aarti go to Chotu's house with the bangles. When they opened the box at the house, they saw four bangles were broken. Looks like they broke on the way. Aarti, see what happened. Four bangles are broken in the box. Chotu, now how many bangles are left? Come on, let's remove the broken bangles one by one and count the remaining bangles. Removed one from 16 bangles. Now we are left with 6 bangles. Hey, but it looks like we have more than 6. Hey Chotu, you are counting it wrong. So friends, let us see why Aarti said this. 16 consists of 1 10 and 6 ones. And when we subtract 1 unit from 16, then we are left with 1 10 and 5 ones. That is 15 bangles. This means that if you subtract 4 bangles from 16 bangles, then we will get 12 bangles. So Chotu has a group of 10 and 2 more bangles, that is 12 bangles in total. Okay, now I understood. Thank you, Aarti. Children, tomorrow there is a math test in Chotu's school. Chotu's mother has given him some questions. Chotu, you already know that what this sign means. 
Yes, yes. This sign means minus or subtract. Come on. Then do these questions and practice for tomorrow's test. Mummy, I have done all the questions. Hey, Chotu, all your answers are correct except for one. Which question, Mom? If you subtract zero from sixteen, what will you get? Come on, let us see. See this. There are sixteen dots. Now, out of these, we have to subtract zero dot. Now tell me what does zero mean not even one so when we did not subtract even one of the 16 dots then how many dots are left with us 16 dots mummy yes chotu you are right 16 dots so actually this means chotu if we subtract zero from any number or if we subtract nothing from that number then we get the same number so kids that was all for today In this video we saw some more interesting examples of subtraction and some common mistakes. I hope you have understood this topic very well. Bye friends.